So when you think about the Galapagos, you probably imagine the famous Darwin's finches or the giant tortoises, but there's this really odd animal that's found nowhere else in the world. And this is the hybrid marine land iguana. This thing is crazy, check this out. This is no ordinary iguana. It's an extremely rare cross between two different species that share a common ancestor. Its father is a Galapagos marine iguana, and its mother is a land iguana. But why can these two different species create a hybrid? The Galapagos iguanas share an ancestor that arrived from South America long ago, possibly by floating on vegetation across the ocean. Current research along with genetic data shows that the marine iguana split from the land iguana around four and a half million years ago, forming the two different and distinct species we see today. The land iguanas are pale to dark yellow and have elongated heads, which allows them to feed on prickly pear cactus. While the marine iguanas are grayish black like the lava rocks, and have shorter, flat noses so they can feed on algae in the ocean. Then they sit around sneezing out salt water. So while these are now two very different animals that inhabit very different environments, their populations do overlap in one specific region, an island called South Plaza. Because the area is so small, land iguanas and marine iguanas come into contact with one another, and apparently from time to time get a little frisky, which can result in a viable hybrid offspring. The hybrid looks a bit like a mashup of its marine and land iguana parents. It's darker skinned like the marine iguana, but has distinct yellowish stripes like the skin of the land iguana. The spinal crest is smaller, and the head resembles that of the marine parent, although it's a bit more elongated. The hybrid appears to spend most of its time on land, and it actually feeds on cactus and other terrestrial plants rather than the algae. Today there are only two hybrids known to exist in the wild on this little island, so we were extremely fortunate to be able to see this rare cross between two species. It's hard to say how long the hybrids will live for, but they're thought to be sterile. So unfortunately, our little mutant friend will never produce his or her own offspring. Instead, it serves kind of like a reminder that the species we see today shared a common ancestry and can leave traces of their biological past through hybridization.